Hello everybody, welcome back to another LEGO Room Vlog. Today we're going to be working a little bit on the LEGO City. We're going to be taking a look at some sets. We're going to be changing up the shelving and adding some sets to the shelving a little bit. We're sort of just going to be going all around the LEGO Room and just cleaning everything up and having a look at some awesome stuff while we're at it. So let's get started. Something I forgot to mention in my Optimus Prime review is I'm absolutely blown away by the lack of Technic in this set. Like when you look at this set and you actually construct it, you'll notice that there's very few Technic elements in it, which is a surprise because it's very functional and has like 19 points of articulation. It can stand like this, it can convert into a truck. Now that was surprising. Also, we got these things right here. I feel like these additives to the set, we didn't really need them because I'm only gonna display mine with the big cannon. I'm not gonna have him holding the Energon X. And then this Energon cube here as well. Like it just seems like something extra that you don't really need. But the first thing that we're gonna do is place Optimus Prime here in the Lego room. Okay, so he's not Star Wars, so he can't go in the Star Wars section. He's not, uh, he sort of fits with this vibe over here because this is like a mixture, you know? It's Harry Potter, Mario, some idea sets and stuff like that. So he could go there. Or he could go here as well, I guess. He doesn't really, I guess he is technically a vehicle, right? Like, should we place him with the vehicles? I don't know. I want to display him like this, not as the truck form. Uh, this is sort of Disney and flowers and stuff, so not really there. And then our large PAX units over here, you know, they've got like the piano and stuff. Like we could just like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, Optimus, how you doing, buddy? Put him right there. No big deal. <laughs> hey, that actually looks pretty good. I don't know. We could just do that for now. Or I could try and work him in to one of these two shelves right here. He is pretty tall, though, so I'd have to reorganize it. The only shelf where he would fit would be right there, so I could slide the gate over so it's closer to the T-Rex rampage and then condense that stuff and put him right there in the corner. That might look pretty cool. But I like what I did there with like the helicopter and stuff like that. So it might look a little bit too clustered. So I guess for now, until I think of a better idea, he's just gonna go right there with our space stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. I was just moving him right up here. And then this happened. Oh my gosh, I seriously did not mean to do this. I just dropped Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna repair that now. Not a great way to start the day at all, but look everybody, it's the final piece right there. There it is, the last one by one. And that's gonna go right there. And there we go. We've got Optimus Prime rebuild. Oh my gosh, so what happened was is I accidentally grabbed him by the top and his body split right there and his legs went down and then his top followed. <laughs> Let's place him on the shelf. You stay put right there. I think he looks better there. I know he's not really a dinosaur. Well, there are dino bots, but <laughs> he's not one of them. So yeah, look at that. I think that looks better than having it with the space stuff, sort of with the Lego ideas shelf, right? Perfect. Okay, so now uh, let's have a quick look at uh, these guys. Look at this. We've got uh, Finn, Poe Dameron, Clone Commander Cody, and then the Beast, General Grievous. So I'm gonna place these right now and those are gonna go up there. See how the other ones are just sort of poking their heads behind the TIE Fighters? Well, we're gonna do that all the way along. So we're gonna put all these buildable figures up there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now this is becoming comical. I just dropped uh, Clone Commander Cody. No, uh, who was it? I can't even remember who it was, but somebody is down there. Can you see him? I can't see the camera. <laughs> I just dropped a figure behind a cabinet. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I've got to move this cabinet now. Oh my gosh, I could foresee me just 
dumping this whole cabinet over and everything goes smash. Oh my God, I should film it. Oh, okay, let's get the, uh, the buildable figure that went behind there. Off to a good start, folks. Wow. It's Poe Dameron. There he is. Can I reach in there and grab him? Oh no, his head fell off. There's his head. <laughs> and his body. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor guy. Hey, he, he stayed together. He's stronger than Optimus. <laughs> oh. That looks awesome though, hey? That's why I got them from the brick bin. I was like, oh, that's perfect. I love how I put them behind the TIE Fighters. There's Grievous. And I just think it adds a little bit of depth to the shelf almost. Whoa, I was just backed into this shelf now. Holy cow, it's going to be a long day. we got lots more stuff to do. I want to clean up uh, this guy, but that's going to be Jose who's going to do that. Uh, got to give him a dusting. He's supposed to be holding a flower or something too. Just going to verify all the parts are, are there and just make sure he's built correctly and give him a good cleaning. For now, I'm just going to put him right there just like that. Now these minifigures actually belong to the smaller Lego Ideas Ecto-1 and that's currently in the Lego City. Oh my gosh, I just bumped into this. I just bumped into that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. And that Ecto-1 is right over here just pulling out of the Ghostbusters HQ. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, <laughs> take this table out of here and put it away, just detach the legs, because that's why I bumped into the Star Destroyer, because I uh, had to fit through here. Uh, got to put all these uh, minifigures, the Muppets, underneath the Star Destroyer. Got all 12 of them. We got to put those on the minifig wall. So here we go. We got all 12 of them on the wall here. The minifig wall definitely needs some work. We've got some holes, some missing ones and they need to be reshuffled. For example, I think the Muppets should go with the Disney ones, obviously, and also maybe like Looney Tunes, sort of like that animated sort of stuff there. Yeah. So there we go. All 12 Muppets minifigs on the minifig wall. It'll definitely be cool one day, like when this wall is like full of minifigures, right? And all color and stuff. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, uh, brick heads over there as well. Let me just uh, make that gap a little bit bigger this time. And I guess I could move my Optimus Prime instructions here. We're gonna to have to stow these away for the kids. The Duplo sets, we're gonna to have to put those away as well. All right, so yeah, these are the uh, brick heads that we've got to place on the brick head displays. Oh no, this must have came off Bo Peep. Hmm. Also all these minifigures. Oh, I just freed up some stands. Not that a lack of stands is an issue anymore because we literally have a bucket full. And we're actually gonna be using those stands in the very near future to fix all of our displays. Actually, I might even do that today. Oh, I just see a mess there and a mess here and a mess everywhere. I've got so much stuff that I need to clean up. Just sort of go around, clean it up. But yeah, we're gonna use these stands for those guys. And you'll see like there's some other ones that still need stands, right? Like all of these people here and here. So yeah, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I'm a bull in a china shop, oh my gosh. There we go, that looks a little bit better. I also rotated this right here. So this used to be on the other side, so I brought it over here. So that's good, you can actually see that now. And then there's this little uh, Star Destroyer on the Super Star Destroyer. I should have that poking out the other way, but I'll probably bump into it, you know? <laughs> it, keep, it keeps falling off. You know what? The uh, lighting in here is sort of weird. I have to put my GoPro at a lighter, like whatever, a different setting, increase the, the brightness or whatever it is. I, I wonder, like these pot lights are color changing. So I wonder if... Uh, I bring it down. Like right now it's not like the blue light, like the 5,000K, it's the one below, I forget what that is. But there's almost like a yellow setting. I wonder if I change all of the settings to like yellow, like the yellower light, if it would look better in this room. I don't think so because this is like so bright right now and I, I think this is the best setting, but for some reason my cameras don't really 
like the light. My, my camcorder doesn't, my GoPro doesn't. But like when you're in here, it looks bright and it looks really good. But sometimes my cameras just have a difficult time with the light. Uh, yeah, so let's deal with these brick heads here. You know what? I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to put these brick heads right here. And Jose can deal with integrating them onto the uh, stand. That's usually her uh, little task there. Oh, look, there's a little bit of room up there actually too. There we go. That's not bad. So as we get more and more brick heads, we're going to have to build one more of these custom display stands for down here, and the fender's going to have to move. But there's all our brick heads together on these cool custom Lego built stands. Oh yeah, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan's coming out soon. We'll have to add those to the Star Wars section when that comes. Very exciting. All right, sort of seem, because it sort of seems to be the trend right now of the uh, video. I'm also going to be building this today. So this is the Mandalorian and one Starfighter with 412 pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule a live stream for that. Yeah. And we'll build that. We'll have a brief look at it. We won't completely review it. I don't think it needs a review. And then we'll place that on the shelves here as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got the table cleared. Woohoo! <laughs> no more pumping into stuff, I think. All right. N1 stream. Let's build some Mandalorian and some Grogu, eh? Some baby Grogu. Speaking of babies, hello, Tico. How are you, pal? How are you? Oh, no, I forgot my coffee. Well, let's just back that back up. Rewind. Rewind. Okay, let's go to the computer. <laughs> oh, no, I spilled my coffee. <laughs> Where's the lid? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got to clean that up now. So here we have the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. I really like the engine builds. They're pretty cool. They're like rugged. They do a good job of representing the N1 found in the Mandalorian, of course. So Mando can fit inside the cockpit. You just have to take his uh, jet pack off. You can see the windscreen goes over top of him pretty nicely there. And then, of course, you've got little baby Gogu in the back there, which is pretty cool. It's got like this long sort of design here. The tail is pretty neat, and I really like those engines. We've got a spring-loaded shooter on the front here, and the way you activate that spring-loaded shooter is just by pressing that button there. And then we've got a couple uh, blasters on the front here as well. And you have to stow away his dark saber and also his jet pack. And what's cool is there's actually a compartment for that, and there's his whoops, there's his jet pack in there, and also his dark saber. And then we got two additional minifigures as well. We got Peli Moto, I believe is her name. She's got some wild hair. And then we also have the BD Droid, which is right here, just a little mini droid figure. So pretty cool. And this is actually the first time that we actually have a face for the Mandalorian. And there it is right there. You see his face? So that's pretty cool. The Mandalorian has some really nice print detailing on his arms and torso and face in this case here. And then you can see we put the jet pack on his back there. As it's been stated in the past, I just wish that we got a better dark saber. I just feel like using a black rod or bar for the blade is just sort of lame. I wish we actually got a molded dark saber, but that's obvious. I think they really could have done that, especially considering how many dark sabers they've produced, right? I think that would be a little better than what they decided to go with. I just think that feels like a little bit cheap because it's not like the dark saber is like a lightsaber. Well, it's like a lightsaber, but it's shaped completely different, right? But it's definitely a well-shaped starship. I like the look of it. You can see I've actually put some transparent panels in the bottom there. We also have the thruster back here as well. And there we go. Let's place it on the shelf. So I have the Razor Crest, which is from the Mandalorian, and now we have the N1 Starfighter. I feel like it has to go beside the Razor Crest. So we're going to have to move Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter with hyperdrive. So you can see that this shelf is actually space for the Obi-Wan Kenobi's uh, Jedi Starfighter there. Now I've put it right here, but this spacing isn't quite enough. You can't quite see it. 
but we have a large gap here so I'm going to bring this shelf down a little bit just so we can accommodate that. Technically I could bring this one up and bring this one up to reveal the uh, M16 down there. M16 right? Yeah, M16 walker I think it is. But yeah I could uh, work on that spacing a bit. I don't really know though. I don't know. Yeah that for sure needs to come down or I could just put it down there I guess. Yeah why don't we just do that. That saves me having to move stuff. We just put that in there. There we go. And then uh, there's a bounty hunter ship here. Oh, it looks like something fell off. Oh, 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 there I am. Back to my d disastrous ways here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I need two hands, but let's make that work. I guess that sort of works for now. I really should uh, get a better display solution for this one here. Maybe lift it up off the ground a little bit or off the shelf a little bit there. But I do like the uh, N1 beside the Razor Crest. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. I like that. It's looking pretty good, you know. Optimus Prime, all that jazz. So I said that we were going to work on the LEGO City a little bit here as well. So I'm going to work on a little bit of uh, roads here. Got some things that we need to improve here. So we actually have to rebuild all of our roads. All this stuff has to get peeled off and, and dealt with. You'll see why in one moment there. And then I'm going to work on some uh, blending here as well for our mountain. I'm not going to finish the mountain today. That's going to be its own video here. Uh, we've got a do the pool of water and some more waterfalls and stuff like that, but we're going to work on blending it in there a bit better today. Check it out. Look at that. Curved curb. Done. Parking stalls. Done. Done. In here. Done. Pop culture street. Done. <laughs> it's such a minor difference, but it looks so much better. Oh, whoops. Forgot to reinstall that, but look. Done. We didn't do the residential area because, well, we've got to mill plate all this and all of these roads are going to change. So we didn't do these ones, but look at this. Nice, 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 nice. It looks so good. Looks so much better. Woo! Uh, we didn't do this one here because this is actually a double long. And you can see the T doesn't make sense. And we didn't do this T over here because this doesn't make sense either. No sense in doing those ones if they're probably going to change once we get to detailing this whole area. Did you see the mountain? All right, so I added slopes to this chunk here, and then I blent in right here. So you can see by adding slopes, it looks a lot better. See, this compared to that, also it rounds it out a bit more. So I've rounded it out a bit on the bottom and rounded it out over here. You can see like there's some peaks and stuff like that. And then what we got to do is probably make it bulge a bit here, just sort of add more slopes in here get that all done and then have our waterfall come down. But that's like the beginning example of what it's going to look like. You can see it looks a lot better than that. So eventually thousands, literally thousands of slopes later, we're going to get that done. So what are our roads missing? Our roads are missing vehicles. And you know what I'm tired of looking at? This right here. I'm tired of looking at this mess. Eventually we're going to have to clean all this up, but why don't we place as many vehicles as we can so that we can clean up all of this here. So I'm going to place all of those vehicles. The only vehicle drawers we're going to have left after placing are these two here. I'm okay with those two because the city's not really ready for vehicles, but I just want to clean up this mess here, at least start to clean this mess up. So let's place all of these vehicles. That's a little bit more manageable. There's still a bunch of stuff under there and eventually we're going to clean all this stuff and get this all sorted because we don't want anything under this table. This table's okay because that's like parts and stuff, but this table here is still sort of like a cluster of stuff that needs to be dealt with. And once we deal with all of this stuff and all of that stuff under there, then we can start creating our under table scenes, which is still part of the plan. But you can see that we've got all these vehicles and stuff all over the Lego city now. F filled up the roads pretty good considering we still have two bins of vehicles. So yeah, the streets are going to be jammed when uh, that time comes, really. Uh, probably the next project that I'm going to work on is actually the boat docks here. I've got a pretty good idea, and it involves uh, a raised elevation. So stay tuned for that. There's going to be some cool stuff happening here with like the boat ramp and the lighthouse and all the boats and stuff like that, and a raised elevation and uh, a boat yard and a shipping yard and everything like that. So we got lots of stuff done today. You know, we started... Uh, Detailing that mountain, we got all our curbs dealt with. 
we got Optimus Prime smashed and rebuilt and placed. We built the N1 Starfighter, placed it on the shelf there, and the city is starting to take shape here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is probably hop on that boatyard there, clean up underneath the tables here, sort of get that rolling. And as always, just sort of sorting and cleaning up after ourselves. Uh, that's really about it for today. We hope you enjoyed today's day vlog. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And Lego fans, roll out. <laughs> Farewell.